an invocation and doxology. God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on earth your salvation among all nations let the peoples praise you O God let all the peoples praise you. All oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear Him. The glory of God in His goodness to Israel. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those also who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, let them, yes, let them rejoice exceedingly, sing to God, sing praises to His name, extol Him who rides on the clouds, by His name, God, and rejoice before Him. A father of fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, O oh God, sent a plentiful rain, whereby you confirmed your inheritance when it was weary. Your congregation dwelt in it. You, O oh God, provided from your goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the words. Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Kings of armies flee, they flee, and she who remains at home divides the spoil. Though you lie down among the sheepfolds, you will be like the wings of dove covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in Zalmon. A 
mountain of gods is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of many peaks is the mountain of Bashan. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains of many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousands, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. You have ascended on high. You have led captivity captive. You have received gifts among men, even from the rebellious, that the Lord God might dwell there. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loads us with benefits, the gods of our salvation. Our God is the God of salvation, and to God, the Lord, belong escapes from death. But God will wound the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of the one who still goes in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring back from Bashan, I will bring them back from the depths of the sea, that your foot may crush them in blood, the tongues of your dogs may have their portion from your enemies. They have seen your procession, O gods, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after, among them were the maidens playing timbrels. Bless God in the congregations of the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin, their leader, the princess of Judah and their company, the princess of Zebulun, and the princess of Neptali. Your God has commanded your strength. Strengthen, O God, what you have done for us. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings will bring presents to you. Rebuke the beasts of the reeds, the herd of bulls with the calves of the peoples, till everyone submits himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Envoys will come out of Egypt. Ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth, O oh, sing praises to the Lord. To him who rides on the heaven of heavens, which were of old. Indeed, he sends out his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to God. His excellence is over Israel, and his strength is in his and his strength is in the clouds. O oh God. You are more awesome than your holy places. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. An urgent plea for help in the trouble. Save me, O God. For the waters have come up to my neck, I sink in deep mire, 
where there is no standing. I have come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty who would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully. Though I have stolen nothing, I still must restore it. O oh God, you know my foolishness and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be confounded because of me, O God of Israel. Because for your sake I have borne reproach, shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers and an alien to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that became my reproach. I also made sackcloth my garments, I became a byword to them. Those who sit in the gate speak against me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, in the acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of your mercy, Hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood water overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut its mouth on me. Hear me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is good. Turn to me according to the multitude of your tender mercies, and do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw near to my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They also gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and their well-being a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see, and make their loins shake continually. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let your wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their dwelling place be desolate, let no one live in their tents, for they persecute the ones you have struck, and talk of the grief of those you have wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. 
but I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bull, which has horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad, and you who see God, your hearts shall live. For the Lord hears the poor and does not despise his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and possess it. Also the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Prayer for relief from adversaries. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded who seek my life. Let them be turned back and confused who desire my hurt. Let them be turned back because of their shame who say, Aha, aha. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O oh Lord, do not delay. God, the rock of salvation. In you, O oh Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge, to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For you are my hope, O Lord God, you are my trust from my youth. By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be continually of you. I have become as a wonder to many but you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together, saying, God has forsaken him, pursue and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O oh God, do not be far from me, O oh my God, make haste to help me. Let them be confounded and consumed who are adversaries of my life. 
Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and your salvation all the day, for I do not know their limits. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, of yours only. O God, you have taught me from my youth and to this day I declare your wondrous works. Now also when I am old and grey-headed, O God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. Also your righteousness, O God, is very high. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? You who have shown me great and severe troubles shall revive me again and bring me up again from the depths of the earth. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Also with the lute I will praise you and your faithfulness, O oh my God. To you I will sing with the harp, O oh Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing to you and my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of your righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded for they have brought the shame who seek my hurt. Glory and universality of the Messiah's region. Give the King your judgments, O God, and your righteousness to the King's Son. He will judge your people with righteousness and you're poor with justice. The mountains will bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. He will bring justice to the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy, and will break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear you as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the grass before mowing, like showers that water the earth. In his days the righteous shall flourish an abundance of peace until the moon is no more. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Those who dwell in the wilderness will bow before him, and his enemies will lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the Isles will bring presents, the kings of Sheba and Seba will offer gifts. Yes. All kings shall fall down before him, all nations shall serve him, for he will deliver the needy when he cries, the poor also. And him who has no helper, he will spare the poor and needy and will save the souls of the needy. He will redeem their life from oppression and violence, and precious shall be their blood in his sight. And he shall live, and the gold of Sheba will be given to him. Prayer also will be made for him continually, and daily he shall be praised. 
There will be an abundance of grain in the earth, on the top of the mountains. Its fruit shall wave like Lebanon, and those of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall continue as long as the sun and man shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. Truly God is good to Israel, to such as are pure in hearts. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the book. For I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no pangs in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride serves as their necklace. Violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge with abundance. They have more than heart could wish. They scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore his people return here, and waters of a full cup are drained by them. And they say, How does God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who are always at ease. They increase in riches. Surely I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued, and chastened every morning. If I had said, I will speak to us, behold, I would have been untrue to the generation of your children. When I thought how to understand this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood their end. Surely, you set them in slippery places, you cast them down to destruction. Oh, how they are brought to desolation as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awakes, so, Lord, when you awake, you shall despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was waxed in my mind. I was so foolish and ignorant. I was like a beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fail. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. 
for in deeds those who are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all those who desert you for harlotry. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works.